Good morning, Joe Tone, Operations Section Chief with PNW2 with your operational daily update for Tuesday, September 7th. Uh, last night, fire activity remained uh, light across the fire. Our night shift resources were able to keep up with all the activity um, and continue uh, some of our critical burn operations uh, to protect structures up in Division Foxtrot. Uh, yesterday, the fire didn't put on a significant amount of growth um, in this area where it did grow the prior day in Alpha, um, as well as Foxtrot. Most of the fire acreage growth in there um, is management assisted growth where we were doing offensive firing operations to define that controlled edge. Um, the predominant natural fire growth did occur right out here in Division Zulu in the wilderness. Um, there's a large bowl here um, at Rattlesnake Creek where it, it cleaned up and, and burnt quite a few acres. This line will be more uh, evened out on the next map. Uh, so Division Alpha, uh, this fire up in the top continued to back down towards the Bumping River. Um, they're monitoring that from several locations, watching to make sure that the fire behavior is, is such that the crews on the ground can handle it as it comes down to the river make sure that the edge of it goes out and it doesn't jump across the river. We're going to continue those actions throughout today. Um, and on standby is a, a UAS drone that can drop uh, fire if we need to just even this up so it doesn't establish any large runs uh, towards the river. So we'll just keep that fire continuing to flank and, and gently back down to the river. Uh, up into Division Delta and Echo, uh, heavy equipment uh, was moved out of the, the southern portion of the fire up into the 1706 and the 1709 roads uh, to prep these roads. So if, we, if I kind of follow this with my finger, this is the road prep that's going on. Um, several miles of, of cleaning up the fuel brakes, um, reducing fuels along the line so they can uh, eventually burn off of that. Uh, Division Foxtrot today, uh, hotshot crews are already out and transitioned with the night shift hotshot crews and they're beginning to bring fire from uh, up to this DP30 area and put fire along this line running from uh, west to east, which is going to help prevent fire progression to the north along the 410 corridor as well as to the east. Division Hotel remained quiet throughout the day yesterday. Um, we expect it to remain quiet again. Uh, we added containment percentage down into Branch 2 in Division November today. Um, so this area of line between Drop Point 83 and H13 is considered um, out and secure, so we changed that status to black, increasing the containment percentage on the fire. Uh, by end of shift today, we'll add additional containment percentage all the way down here into the, the kind of the center of the south section near DP 95. Our UAS, our, our, our Type 1 drone, our large fixed wing drone that flies at night over the fire, um, given us uh, reconnaissance, did find a couple spots. Uh, just south of DP-95 last night where our night shift resources worked on those to extinguish those. Um, they were all small, 5x5, uh, 5x10 five by five, five by small spots that they took care of. Uh, Division Oscar, um, things are doing really well in there. So no concerns with anything outside of the line, no spots, uh, continuing to get mop up in there. And that edge is starting to look really good as you're able to drive through that area. Uh, Division Zulu, they finished up with the uh, road preparations down here and are working with excavators um, and heavy equipment to water bar the roads that they improved. There's a, a washout on the 1306 road that they're making some improvements to today um, as we just need to keep this area open for additional fire traffic in the coming weeks. Out into the west part of Division Zulu, um, a specialty fire use module uh, was out here hiking around. They had you know, their boots on the ground, really looking at the terrain, the fuels that are out there of what we're going to do. We found a couple opportunities that we're going to meet with this morning. It's critical to involve our resource advisors and the administrators from the forest um, when we take any action in the wilderness. Um, wilderness has those special protection rights, um, so we want to not do more damage than what the fire would do on its own out there. So they'll be looking at that today um, to develop the finalized plan and start to take action tomorrow on that stuff out in the wilderness. Uh, thanks and have a good day.